And in a situation where someone is buying and selling, does it matter if the market is down or market is up? And if that's the case, can they actually make up the difference when they're maybe selling when the market is hot? That's a great question. And I think that ties into a client that I was just talking to not long ago who wanted to downsize. When he had a property, he had a bigger one, of course, and wanted to move into something smaller. Now, let's just say hypothetically, if the market were to go down, okay. normally the properties that are higher in price take a bigger hit than the ones at a lower price point. So now he may sell his property for a lower percentage okay. and end up buying something, of course, at a lower price point, but the difference ends up being higher in a market which is tanked or, or extremely low. And vice versa, if the market picks up, now he's going to have to First of all, when the market does pick up, usually the lower price point properties first go up in value, then the higher ones catch up. So now he may sell his property for more or less the same price as what he would now, but he's gonna end up buying that smaller property for a higher price point. So the difference ends up being smaller once again. I think the right answer is really situational based. If you're an investor or if you're looking to kind of, like you said, buy and sell, now is a great time but in general, your situation is what determines if it's the right time for you.